Zande Picture Media. My name is Julie James Samson Mizani. We are here to introduce some products that has been produced by one of the students living in Uganda. Allow me to take this opportunity to welcome her and she introduce herself as well as the products that she has been making for us. Thank you. Uh, thank you Julie for giving me this opportunity to talk. I'm by the name Edia Stella Philbert uh, from South Sudan. I come from Western Equatorial State, Yambio. Uh, I'm studying at Uganda Matters at Main Branch, Gozi, I'm pursuing bachelor degree in agriculture, economic, and agribusiness management. Wow, very interesting. Thank you for the course that you're doing. It's a very good course. So I understand you're still doing a business besides that, right? Yes. So can you tell me how are you trying to uh, cope up with that. Those are two different things. You're doing a different course and doing another business aside. So how are you managing the both? Madam Julie, so this I'm doing, I'm making handcraft and I'm studying agriculture. So previously I did my diploma in business. So these handbags, I make them at night uh, or during holiday time I make them. And these are the bags which help me in upkeep. You know, we girls also, we need very many things. So these handbags, I make them myself. Then the man I get, I'm, used, I'm using it for some coursework and some other personal issues. Uh, thank you, Madam Stella. You have talked of uh, making bags, I guess handbags, and because I can see some bags around here. Are these the bags that you're, you t um. you're, you're making actually, or there are others? besides these ones? Yes, they are the one. These are just samples. I make variety of them, different styles, different colors, any, depending on the customer's choice and utility. That's what I do. So I make money pass, uh, and this is the money pass I'm talking of. You can see how nice it is. Uh, it comes along with the handbag. So when you get, you buy this handbag, you stand a chance of getting a free wallet. So one handbag like this, you get a free wallet. Uh, beside that, I also, you see there are different colors. I have this. There are those office ladies who like moving high heel, you know. They are, if they move, these are the ones also. It, as you see, it has the same color as the wallet. Uh, here again, I have crossbar here for the, you know, slay queens, these young girls. Uh, these are the crossbar, as you can see how it is with the flower, you know, girls with these nine things. So this is the crossbar. Uh, I have also this one. Wow, I know many girls out there, all many ladies, they love pink, as you can see. Uh, you can feel how it is and the way it is. Wow, these bags are just Beautiful. They are very beautiful. Especially this one. I love green so much. I love green. I guess from here I have to take this one. I have to take this one. And it takes everything. Even, you know, we ladies, we like carrying juice in some bottles for quenching their throat. So tell me, how much are they? The handbag you are holding with the money pass, all of them, I sell them within Kampala here with the free delivery. I sell at uh, 100,000 Uganda shilling, uh, but in case you, someone needs only the money pass like this, 
They are of course of different sizes. This one is specifically for the handbag, but there are those which are bigger than this with 25. Uh, there are those like this at 15. So in case you only want the money pass. Uh, to talk about it more, I do delivery to South Sudan, USA, Canada. Uh, and in case someone there want it, you can call me and we talk and see how I can deliver it. Of course, there will be extra charges because it won't be on me. It will be on the person. So that is it. Okay, this one, the cross bags, I sell them at 50,000 Uganda shilling. So that is the money you give me and you get this beautiful hand cross bag here. So that is it. Thank you so much. The goods are really beautiful and the prices really suits it. Now for a lady like me who loves being ever smart, always a smart lady, eh? Now me carrying such a bag, such a bag. Believe me, I'll cut walk in hills, okay? <laughs> now, what are the challenges that you face in making these beautiful products? Because I know you being a, 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 a student and also doing a business besides that, at least there are challenges you face. Can you share it with us, please? You know, there are very many challenges in doing these things uh, because, you know, as a student, you are in class and education mixed with business, there will be many challenges. Uh, of course, some of the challenges are, you know, getting this material uh, is very expensive. The materials I use for making up this bag, the prices have increased because Corona came. You know how Corona hit the world. So the prices have raised the materials they are selling expensively. These are the challenge. And again, you know, this bag, since Corona came, people are not working. And the income has reduced, as you know, economy also. Uh, to get customers for these bags now is not easy. It's not easy, actually. I'm struggling with it. Yet, I'm making this thing, you know, in, this, in my village where I come from, to see a girl just seated idle. This girl, people will always think this is a prostitute. They always say an idol mine is a devil workshop, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. that is it. So this thing keep me busy, and when I'm doing it, of course, no human being would like to go away from money. This yeah, will really keep, yes, yeah, yeah. this will keep me busy with it. I will keep on doing it, and it will help me not associate with these problems so going for you know prostitution drinking alcohol and you to refresh my mind i come back to books i bang it very well i read my books you see i'm passing fly colors so really? you're gaining is... both in education and even business yeah, <laughs> yeah great lady yeah <laughs> This is how it is. For real, you have inspired me. You have inspired me. Uh, actually, I'm encouraging young ladies like, you know, without education, you know, education is not the final say. You can do something with your hand. Actually, even in the Bible, you remember God said anything you do with your hand exactly. is a blessing. So he blessed this back. And so he... uh, initially, you're, you're trying to say that uh, the little money we get, God blesses it more and even improves it for you in every, uh, let me say, uh, business you do. Um, even if you're getting only 100 shillings. But also do don't it. conclude that way. It depends how you are getting that money. If you are using your hand and that to do business and get that money, that is a clean money and God will bless it. So instead of ladies, you know, girls, I advise you, at least get something to be doing during your leisure. Don't go for things like, you know, things which does not make sense. Wow. You know, this one alone, without me getting a job, I sit, I sure, can get sure. money. Yes. I sit in one place, I'm making money. People abroad are getting this product in my hand. You know, they always say machines are the one which makes beautiful things. But first, you know, take a look. When you see this thing, Actually, you might think this is a machine which made the thing, right? Yes. But this is a hand, like you see as Can't you see I can't believe this. Like yeah. I, me, myself, I'm still, you know, it's still running my head. How, how, like, how you get to do this? Especially here on top and again inside. It's still beating my understanding. Okay. I'm one of the ladies who always want to learn how to do things in their, with their hands, actually. Though for me, I always love to cook learning how to cook new food by the way don't be surprised if you see me with a restaurant because ah. every day people are eating right away from here you would want to eat 
Are we together? People love to eat. So that's why always, be it uh, traditional food, uh, uh, American food, let me say that, okay? People love eating. So the more I get to learn how to cook new different type of food, it makes me happy. So <clears throat> I've seen your products, everything. Now, can you tell us uh, in about three years, where do you want to see yourself with these beautiful products, your business actually? In about three years, where do you want to be? Do you want uh, it to be like a company, a store? Or can you tell us about it? Uh, well, uh, this business in three years to come, I want this business to expand, to be at, you know, a really into a company like whereby anything you want you get it so again uh, in three years time I want to train many of the young ladies to do these things more especially in my country South Sudan you know there are very many girls there so I need to train them because they always say that a, a success without a successor is a failure uh, thank you it has been a good moment with you can you kindly please uh, share something with our sisters and brothers out there? Advise them because uh, you have inspired me. I would want you also to inspire them just the way you've done to me. Uh, my sister out there, uh, let me tell you something. There is that joy, eh, that joy you get when you do something and you get your own money. That anything you want, you can buy it using your money. Uh, you know, money always from your boyfriend. You have to depend all the time on the parent, making a lot of uh, phone calls. It's not good. Make something, you get your own money, cater for your bills. You see, because, you know, sometimes time will come whereby you have to take your boyfriend out, you know, sponsoring everything and you pay all the bill. You know how joyful it can be. And the man will always respect you for that. When you have your own money, I, I guess every man will respect. And all men nowadays need a woman who's, you know, a woman who has something to do, who's creative, not a dominant lady. So be very, very active in everything you do. Try to be very active. Get something to do. Don't sit idle because you will make your own money and your people outside there will respect you all the time. So that is it, my sister. Don't depend on people for life. It has been a wonderful day having Adia Stella Thilbert around with us at Bazande Picture Media. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We love you all, you're so loving people. Please, in case you want to advertise any good, any business of yours, please be at your service. We are there for you, we are there to make you shine. We are there to expose you to all the world. Are we together? Just the numbers right there. Call us, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I remain Julie James Samson Mizani, the president of Azande Student in Uganda. Thank you.